They set off to spend eight days in space. Their trip lasted nine months. But finally, they're back. NASA astronauts Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore have finally arrived back on Earth. They made a fast re-entry through the Earth's orbit, followed by a gentle splashdown off the coast of Florida. They came out of the hatch, waving and smiling, bringing an end to a mission that has captivated global attention for months now. So what did they do in space for nine whole months? How was their journey back? What lies ahead of them in terms of recovery? And how is the world reacting to their return? Our next report tells you. The top get going, and you have. Earth circled 4,576 times. Distance traveled 195 million kilometers. Days spent in space, 286. That's 278 days longer than anticipated. But finally, Sunita Williams and Barry Wilmore are no longer stuck in space. They have returned to Earth. So right now what we're doing on board Dragon is preparing for that undocking sequence to be commanded. Hitching a different ride home than the one they went up on. Their SpaceX capsule made a fast re-entry through the Earth's atmosphere. Then four parachutes opened and the astronauts splashed down in calm waters off the coast of Florida as a part of dolphins circled the craft. Screen, we can see dolphins actually <laughs> who want to come and play with, uh, with Dragon. Now one of the fast boats there in place working... A recovery ship lifted the capsule out of the water. And within an hour, the NASA astronauts were out of their capsule. They smiled and waved, bringing an end to a mission that was supposed to last eight days, but went on for nine months. She, like her other crew members, now will be assisted onto the mobility aid. The saga began last year in June. Williams and Wilmore took part in a space flight on the experimental Starliner, developed by the aerospace company Boeing. The capsule suffered technical problems. It was deemed too risky to take the astronauts home. So Starliner returned safely to Earth in September, empty. Three out, currently reefing. While the NASA pair had to stay back. They have only been able to return now, after being stuck in space for more than nine months. The astronauts have regularly spoken about being comfortable with their situation. While they were up there, they carried out an array of experiments. They conducted spacewalks. In fact, Williams broke the record for the woman who spent the most hours outside a space station. The team also played dress-up for Christmas. We have here with us to just prepare, which will be sort of fun. But their journey has gripped global attention, and their return is being embraced. NASA officials have right, praised their resilience. You, you know, the thing I think back of this whole time frame is how uh, really resilient Butch and Sonny were the whole time. I mean, they launched on what was going to be a short test flight with the crew flight test vehicle with Boeing. And then they moved very quickly into station increment operations and they became seamlessly part of the International Space Station. And they did that because they're experienced astronauts. Meanwhile, people are celebrating the return, especially in Williams's Indian ancestral village. बहुत ही खुशी है सर पूरी रात जगे हुए रात भी जगे हैं रात को भी हवन चली और सुबह में हवन करना है कल भी भंडारा करना है. So what happens next? The astronauts reunited with their loved ones and were quickly hustled away for medical checks. After all, space is tough on the human body. That is none other than Sonny Williams. When they come back to Earth, it's still a big difference going from that weightlessness to suddenly being under gravity again. So they have to adapt to that both physically and mentally. So they will be under direct medical supervision for a couple of weeks. Then they'll continue to do physiotherapy to make sure that they're, they're getting back to normal as quickly as possible. So the world has breathed a sigh of relief. The astronauts have returned home. But it will be a while before they readapt to living on Earth. That is none other than Sonny Williams.
big smile. Big... Do you think that Ukraine is at its weakest position? This war is not about Ukraine. Do you believe that your president was insulted? Yes or no question. Is Ukraine prepared to pay the price for that peace? No compromises at the cost of territorial integrity and sovereignty. Diplomacy will work? Yes. Do you think will... Russia will give up the territory if there is no ceasefire? Do you propose to keep fighting? We are ready to resist. Do you think there will be peace? Many countries gave us three days. President Trump said you don't have any cards. We do not have another choice. So how do you keep fighting? You ask me once again the same question. Because you've not we answered have, my question. We have enough capacities to keep fighting.